A man once said that this is not the, the final step on our way to freedom. This is the first step of an even longer and tougher journey. And I think there's no more poignant moment to reflect on that. And he went on to say that freedom is not won by the, the, the chains being cast. Freedom is determined by how much we honor and enhance and respect the freedom of others. And I think that's something that, that we need to have close in our heart because if there's one man in this country who can unite this country, it's, um, it's Nelson Mandela. And um, we've got to understand that through our actions, we keep that man alive, we keep that spirit alive. And um, I'd like to share these words that I hope will, will bring Nelson Mandela to, to us right now and hopefully bring, bring his spirit out in all of us. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet, the menace of the years finds me and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And today, Friday the 1st of May, 2015, we as South Africans need to take responsibility and take, take care of the future of this country. And I hope that this day will be remembered forever as the beginning of a truly long and important journey. Our long walk to freedom. Thank you. What this group is doing is not riding for 10 days, getting to Peter Martinsbrook to run the Conrad's Marathon. It's not that. What we are doing is giving hope, giving opportunity for some people who don't have. I am here with my heart. My heart. My language is not so, so good. But my heart is very big. You've built up for this for so long and you've put so much training in and it's gonna get emotional again. And you get you can't actually believe that you're there. We're now on the road with John and Brundle. Um, you know, all of the Unicorns are on the road. Um, you, you know, we're all on our way to Peter, Peter Maritzburg. Um, the teams are all gelling. We're chasing John down now. Um, and it's just, it's just brilliant to be on the road after, you know, a pretty long six months of, of, of planning and training and fundraising. When you get a group of people like this on one trip in one place, uh, it's something truly special. Everybody's in a, a very similar mindset. They're passionate people. They've got the hugest hearts. And to be a part of that and to be supported by that is something that is so motivating, it's almost impossible to describe. It's very symbolic of what this country is and we need to get a bunch of people to believe in the same thing and anything is possible. You have no idea what these guys are capable of and what they've already done and what they're going to do. It's unbelievable what we are capable of as a team, and as a country. The people in South Africa, maybe they're not from the United States, but the United States belongs to them. And what we do in the U.S. affects people in South Africa, and what people do in South Africa affects people in the U.S. So for me to come here and to work with these people is as if I'm working with people in my own country, because we're one humanity, maybe in many different colors and many different nations, but we're one humanity, and we should be working together to make the world a better place. Sitting listening to Natsu talk on the first night about how a man all the way from Brazil can come to South Africa and live the dream of making a difference, albeit in a very small way, 
shows us that each of us as individuals have the power with those tiny, small, little bits of positive change that we can bring about, that united as a country, we're able to, to make the change that we would like to see. I think the philosophy behind the Unagwaja Light Fund is, uh, is second to none. I think in a place like South Africa that has so much potential, um, and you know, has, has a lot of work to do in a lot of aspects, but to provide the people with the skills to make themselves better, um, to educate them, rather than providing handouts is, is immensely powerful. As this legacy grows and more lights develop across the country, the potential to influence more and more people is something that's going to be hugely powerful for South Africa and something that I think is going to be something that all on a can be very proud of as we build on that. Well, we left on the 1st of May and the, uh, the cycle team left on the 21st of May and the moment they got onto the road on their bikes you could feel the force behind us and to think today would be the moment that both those forces joined together I think it's a, it's a powerful moment and it's a special moment and one that every single one of us part of Unigwaja has been looking forward to and the moment that both teams come together I think is going to be something extremely special. We've waited for 29 days for this moment and uh, it, I just got the most incredible goosebumps the minute I saw that, that, that shimmer of bicycles come down that road. The last stretch was brutal but as I tell you, coming down the streets of it's feeling a bit bad. But our country mark, it's an honour, it's an absolute honour. It's something you can't quantify. When you've walked from Cape Town to Peter Marisburg across our country, you realize that the same earth and the same land that I'm standing on right now, 20 kilometers from Peter Marisburg, is the exact same land that we were standing on in Cape Town. And there's actually nothing separating us. I think that's something so important for this country because between Cape Town and, and, and Peter Marisburg, we've got, we've got different tribes, we've got different languages, we've got different people, we've got different cultures. We've had history affect them in different ways. We're all on that same land and we all share the same peace. And Unagwaja on foot is a way to bridge and to share and to bring people together. And this year has been special in that regard. I have goosebumps thinking about so many moments. And um, I can only see that happening more and more where people hear about it and know what it stands for more importantly. This is not a physical endeavor from Cape Town to Peter Maritzburg. This is about bringing people in their towns, in their villages and saying, I want to stand up. I want to stand up next to you. I want to walk with you. We are South Africa. What the human heart can do is just incredible. Just a bit of belief, you know. We've cycled and walked from Cape Town in, and we've just run the, the ultimate human race, the comrades. We just came together at the end. Just everyone helped everyone else today, and that's what Uruguay is about. It's about putting everyone else together, uh, putting other people before yourself, and just pulling everyone through. I probably cried like a baby six times out there, but I made it through. I didn't know if I could do it, but I did. I've never been so happy. Shops! <laughs> it feels like um, it's the end of a journey, but it's just the beginning. It's, it's the beginning of an important journey for our country. And uh, I don't feel like I've ended anything today. I feel like we're beginning something important. And um, the commitment and contribution of so many people has been incredible. But we need to keep going. We need to keep going beyond this finish line. We need to take this forward. We need to take this forward. It's a long day and uh, we hear in the distance a, a girl shouting, can I join, can I join? She's, she's quite far away and of course we're just like, please, please, and, and often you've had these sort of exchanges and, and, and they don't come. This girl comes running after us and then she walks with us for a couple of kilometers and we talk and we exchange and she, she jokes about how bad my is is and, and, uh, and we just share and she tells us about her town, her school and her family and then suddenly we ask her where does she live and we were going to say goodbye to her and that was that and in the end um, Robert went back and, and walked back with her to find out where she lived and at the end of the day it was a long day on the road in fact it was, a, it was one of our longer days and we were like we want to go find her again we want to go find her family and as we we got to like near where her house was there was a next door neighbor called Jackson and we said you know where Tulisile is and then Tulisile's uncle Tandikile was walking down and he's the, the schoolmaster at the school that, that Tulisile goes to and he just shouts Tuli 
and Tuli just comes running and, and Tandikila, his uncle, her uncle, he, um, he said, Tuli's been speaking about you guys all day and, and we had been speaking about her all day. And just that meeting and that moment was so, something so special. And, and subsequently, Tandikila and I, her, her uncle, um, her father passed away, have been in contact and he wants us to go back to, to their school. And I sense it as being another opportunity to, to build the Light Fund because that girl, that school, that moment is exactly what Nguadja on Foot is all about.